There's a friend in Fimble Valley that we're on our way to see. To hear him tell his stories, maybe stay for tea. He's a mole who's living underground, and his name is Roly Mo. Roly, 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 Roly Mo. He's the rolliest mole you'll ever know, and his name is Roly Mo. La 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 la. Hello to you. How do you do? <laughs> it's an exciting day today. One of our special friends is coming to tea. Can you guess who it is? He's very good at jumping. <laughs> I'll give you another clue. Tippity toppity. It's Rocket. Rocket's coming to tea today. Let's go and find Uncle Roly. Ready? Then off we go! <laughs> oh, hello there. And how are you today? We're just getting ready for our very special visitor. Did little Bo tell you who's coming to tea? Yes, I did, Uncle Roly. Oh, hello, little Bo. Little Bo! Look what we've made! Yummity scrummity apple crumbly cake! Ah, now don't get too close, Migo. It's still hot. I know. Why don't we have a story while we're waiting for it to cool down? Yes, it is! Yes. yes! Then I'll see you in a roly mo. <laughs> story time with roly mo. My favourite time of day. <laughs> Aren't you coming too? Uh, no. Uh, no, we want to watch the cake cool down. <laughs> and smell it. <sighs> oh, scrumptious. <laughs> <laughs> When you take a look inside a book, who knows what you will see? When you take a look inside a book, it's fun as fun can be. With cats and dogs and birds and frogs, a monkey who says boo. Ooh, wonderful things, and giants and kings, and maybe a thimble or two. Now what have we here? When you take a look inside a book, who knows what you might see? A story or rhyme, just take the time to read along with me. Hmm. Books over here, books over there. Find me a book with a story to share. A special tea time story, if you please. Ah, lovely. Now then, are you sitting comfortably? Yes. Good. Then I'll begin. <sniffs> Josh was building a house for his teddy. Lunchtime, called his mum. Wash your hands. Do I have to, mum? said Josh. Yes, wash your hands, please, she said. You know you need to. Josh sighed. He was tired of always having to wash his hands. Later, after his afternoon nap, Josh decided to have a tea party with Teddy in the front room. Josh didn't see his Auntie Lou, who was fast asleep in the big armchair. Now, Teddy, said Josh, we're going to have a lovely tea party. Here are the cups and the saucers and the plates. And some lovely shiny teaspoons. Those teaspoons aren't shiny, said a voice. Josh was startled. Who was talking to him? Could it be Teddy? They're not shiny at all. They're really dirty. The voice continued. Josh picked up the teaspoons. It was true. They were rather grubby. I'll go and wash them, he said. Thank you, said the voice. And do you think you could wash the cups and saucers and plates as well? They're all very dirty. Oh, said the surprised Josh. All right. So he washed the tea set till everything was clean and shiny. Josh set out the tea things again. Well done! Now we can have our tea party! It's tea time, called Josh's mum. Coming, called back Josh. Come on, Teddy. Come and have some real tea. 
Are you coming too, Auntie Lou? Auntie Lou peeped round her chair. She winked at Josh. Oh, yes, but I think I'd better wash my hands first. Me too, said Josh, laughing. Tea time. Lovely. Do you think the cake will have cooled down by now, Uncle Rolly? I think it might have, little Bo. Why don't you go and take a look? And I'll just have a little snooze before Rocket arrives. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> ah, velvetini! Stop it, Migo. There won't be any smell left. <laughs> It still smells delicioso. Mm. Mm. Oh, it certainly does. Oh, I love having people to tea. Hello. Hello. Would you like to come to tea? There's tea for you and tea for me. Moly munches and carrots to eat. Come for tea, a special treat. Hello, hello, yes, we'd like to come for tea. Thanks, Thanks so much for asking we, especially if there's all that to eat. We'll come for tea, a special treat. Ah. Uncle Rolly said he thought the cake would have cooled down by now. Hooray! <laughs> um, what does cooling down mean, little Bo? Cool down. It means it's not hot anymore. Look, I'll show you in my busy book. Busy book, busy book, let's take a look. Someone is hiding. Who can it be? Is it a thimble? Who can you see? It's Flory. What are we going to do today, Flory? Look, a wibbly wobbly jelly. And crumble crackers. A pair of wellies. Which one is the odd one out? Is it the jelly? Mmm, yum yum jelly. Or the crumble crackers? Yum yum crumble crackers. Or the wellies? Yeah, you can't eat wellies. <laughs> the wellies are the odd ones out. Look, it's snowing. And the snow has made a snowman. And there's the sun. <gasps> Ice cream! Yum, yum! This is an odd one out game. Which one is the odd one out? The snowman is cold. The sun is hot. Ice cream is cold. is the odd one out. The snowman and the ice cream are cold. And the sun <laughs> is hot. Thank you, Flory. See you again soon. Uh, I think it's definitely cooled down now. <laughs> yes, it's definitely cooling down. It smells scrumptious too. <laughs> I think we should try a bit to make sure that it tastes scrumptious too. Oh, do you think so? Yes, definitely. We could try that little bit there. Mm. <laughs> oh, that is scrumptious! Try a little bit, little Bo. Oh, mm. oh my turn. Mm. <laughs> Mm. Mm. Ooh, oops. Mm. Uh, better make it equal on this side. <laughs> oh dear! What is it? Look at the cake! Yes, it's yummity scrummity! <laughs> but we can't eat any more. Why not? I've got lots of tummy room left. But the cake was for Rocket, and he'll be here soon. <gasps> uh, what are we going to do? Hide. No, we can't do that. We've got to go and tell Uncle Rolly. We can't do that. Why not? 
because he'll be very, very, very... Very, very, very... Very, very, very cross! Well, um, let's go and find out. Come on. What is it, little Bo? Me and you go and me go. You go and me go? Hmm? Yes. You go, me go. You go, me go. We, we go, go. and me go. We're here, little Bo. Me and you go and me go have got something to tell you, Uncle Rolly. Oh, and what's that? Well, um, you know the apple crumble cake? Oh, yes. Uh, I should think it's cooled down by now. Oh, yes, it has. And it was delicious! Oh. Oh, was it now? Oh, yes, it was yummy scrumble. Oh. Ah, it was, was it? Yes, and then we all had a bit... And then we had another bit. And another? And another. And now there isn't very much left. Mm, I see. And we're really, really sorry. Uncle Roly, we didn't mean to eat it all up. Sorry, Roly. Sorry, Roly. Well, well done for coming and telling me and for saying sorry. You did the right thing. going to do? Run, Run away! away. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Hippity hoppity hoo! How'd ya diddly do? I'm here for my special tea. Oh, hello, Rocket. How tippity toppity to see you. <laughs> That's my tummy rumbling. So, what's for tea? I hope it's my favourite apple crumble cake. Apple crumble cake. Hey! Where is it? Oh, we're just about to make it. Do you want to help us? Oh, yes, Eddie, yes. My favourite thing next to eating apple crumble cake is baking apple crumble cake. I am the baking frog. <laughs> 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 Hello, hello, would you like to come to tea? There's tea for you and tea for me, apple crumble cake to eat, come for tea, a special treat. Ooh. Hello, hello, yes, I'd like to come for tea, thanks so much for asking me, especially if there's cake to eat, I'll come to tea, a special treat. <laughs> Haven't we had fun today? Yes, it's been a roly moly day! You will come and join us next time in Fimble Valley, won't you? Now it's time for us all to go. Cheerio! Cheerio! There's a friend in Fimble Valley that we're on our way to see. To hear him tell his stories, maybe stay for tea. He's a mole who's living underground and his name is Roly Mo. Roly, 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 roly mo. He's the rolliest mo you'll ever know. And his name is Roly Mo. La 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 la. Oh, hello to you. How do you do? It's chilly in Thimble Valley. I'm looking forward to warming up and having a story with Uncle Roly. Ready? Then off we go! <laughs> oh, hello there. And how are you today? I'm just writing in my moly diary. 
I'm trying to remember what we had for tea yesterday. Hello, Uncle Rolly. Mm. Oh, hello there, little Bo. <laughs> I was just telling our friends that I'm trying to remember what we had for tea yesterday. Oh, that's easy, Uncle Rolly. We had my favourite, guacamole. Oh, you go! Me go! Me we go! go. Amigo! Let's a go go! <laughs> Where's the guacamole? <laughs> there isn't any guacamole. What do you mean, no guacamole? We ate it yesterday, remember? Mmm, it was scrumptiously delicioso. Mm. Ooh, uh... What are you looking for, Uncle Rody? I'm looking for my bookmark. Oh. I'm sure I put it down somewhere. Oh, um, I can't see it. Oh, never mind. Maybe the bookworm ate it. A bookword? A bookworm. Oh, a bookword. Maybe the bookworm ate all the guacamole. What do bookworms look like, Uncle Rolly? Ah, let me show you. I'll be back in a rolly mo. <laughs> When you take a look inside a book, who knows what you will see? When you take a look inside a book, it's fun as fun can be. With cats and dogs and birds and frogs, a monkey who says boo. Oh, wonderful things, and giants and kings, and maybe a thimble or two. Now what have we here? When you take a look inside a book, who knows what you might see? A story or rhyme, just take the time to read along with me. Hmm. Books over here, books over there. Find me a book with a story to share. One bookworm story, if you please. Ah, lovely. Now then. Are you all sitting comfortably? Yes. yes! Good. Then I'll begin. The bookworm family lived in a house made of books. And everything inside the house was made of books. They each went to bed in a book bed and ate their dinner at a book table. And every day for dinner they ate baked beans. <laughs> You might think that bookworms eat books, too. But no, they love to read books. One day, Granny Bookworm was feeling sad. Go and cheer up your granny, said Mummy Bookworm. So the bookworm children wiggled and squiggled and stood on their heads, but she didn't even smile. What's the matter, Granny? asked the smallest bookworm child. Well... She sighed. You see, my little booklet worm, I'm down in the dumps because I've read all the books in the house, frontwards and backwards. Some I've even read upside down. I've read books inside and outside. Books in the bathroom and books under the light of the silvery moon. I have read big books and small books and in between books. There are no books left that I haven't read, and I do love reading. Have you read all the blue books? asked the smallest bookworm child. I have, said Granny. Have you read all the yellow books? asked the tallest bookworm child. I have, said Granny. Every single one. My favourite colour for a book is green. And I've read all the green ones as well. How many books have you read? Asked the bookworm children. 5,322, said Granny, and she sighed again. Wow, said all the bookworms. They tried to imagine that many books, but it made their eyes go wobbly. That's it, said Mummy Bookworm, who didn't like her family moping about. We're going out. So they all got on the bus and didn't get off until they reached the library. The library was full of books that Granny Bookworm hadn't ever read.
Granny was so happy that she had to sit down. From that day on, they went to the library every week. Sometimes they borrowed black books, and sometimes orange. Sometimes they borrowed a book of every colour of the rainbow. And Granny Bookworm never ran out of books to read again. Lovely. So that's what a bookworm looks like. I'd love to see a real one. Then let's go and find one. <gasps> Do you think we could find a bookworm, Uncle Roly? Well, you never know. Although they are very good at hiding. Then let's a go go. Amigo. <laughs> Go. What? Come on. We're supposed to be looking for a bookworm. We're looking high. We're looking low. We're looking fast, 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 fast. We're looking slow. Where did that bookworm go? We, we just, just can't find it. it. Where did that bookworm go? We, we just can't find it. We're looking here. We're looking there. Behind the bus. Under the chair. We're really looking everywhere. We just can't find it. We're really looking everywhere. We just can't find it. We just can't find it. We just can't find it. <sighs> oh dear. I don't know if we're going to find the bookworm. <sighs> I wonder if my busy book can help us. Oh, let's have a look. In the busy book! <laughs> busy book, busy book, let's take a look. Someone is hiding. Who can it be? Is it a Fimbo? Who can you see? It's Fimbo! What are we going to do today, Fimbo? Look, that's red. Oh, look, the red leads to little one. And that's yellow. Yellow leads to Pom's trundle truck. That's blue. I wonder what blue will lead to. <gasps> Blue leads to the bookworm. Oh, look. The lines are all muddled up. Now we can't see where they lead to. Let's try to remember. Which colour leads to Pom's trundle truck? Is it red or blue or yellow? It's yellow. Yellow leads to Pom's trundle truck. Now let's try to find little one. Which colour leads to little one? Is it red is it blue? Let's try red. It's little one. Red leads to little one. Well done. Now, which colour leads to the bookworm? Hmm, it must be blue. Yes, we did it. We remembered what all the colours lead to. There's another colour. It's green. I wonder where green will lead to. It's Fimbo's shimmy shaker. <laughs> Have fun, Fimbo. See you again soon! Well, we found a bookworm in my busy book. But we're still looking for a real one. <laughs> oh, what's that? My tummy! <laughs> no, I mean, what's that over there? Um, uh, 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 it's Uncle Roly's bookmark! Hooray! Well, at least we found something. Let's go and give it to Uncle Roly. <laughs> oh, hello there. How did you get on? We didn't find the book worm. But we did find something else. Oh, my bookmark. Thank you, everyone. We like finding things. Well, then. Would you like to listen to the story I've just written? 
It's all about finding something. Story time with Roly Mo. Our, Our favourite, favourite time, time of day. day. <sighs> Once upon a time, there was a farmer called Old MacDonald who had a little dog, Patch. Old MacDonald often sang to the animals on his farm as he worked. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on his farm he had one cow, E-I-E-I-O, with a moo-moo here and a moo-moo there, here a moo, there a moo, everywhere a moo-moo, Old MacDonald had one cow, E-I-E-I-O. But where's my dog? There he is, said the cow. Woof! Old MacDonald has a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on his farm he has two sheep, E-I-E-I-O, with a ba-ba here and a ba-ba there, here a ba, there a ba, everywhere a ba-ba. Old MacDonald had two sheep, E-I-E-I-O. But where's my dog? There he is, said the sheep. Woof! <laughs> Old MacDonald has a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on his farm he has three pigs, E-I-E-I-O, with a oink oink here and a oink oink there, here oink there, oink everywhere, oink oink. Old MacDonald has three pigs, E-I-E-I-O. But where's my dog? Oink! There he is, said the pigs. Woof! <laughs> Old MacDonald loved his cow and his sheep and his pigs. And he especially loved his little dog, Patch. Lovely. That was great, Uncle Roly. Can we hear it again after tea? Of course you can. And to help me remember where it is in the book... You can use your bookmark. Oh, I'm glad the bookworm didn't eat it. <laughs> oh, if we don't eat tea soon, I'm going to have to eat the bookmark! <laughs> <laughs> Haven't we had fun today? Yes! It's, it's been, been a roly moly day! <laughs> <laughs> you will come and join us next time in Fimble Valley, won't you? Now it's time for us all to go. Cheerio! <laughs> Rolly? Yes, Migo? Do you think bookworms like Molly Munchies too? Oh, I don't know. Well, I think I'd better eat up all the Molly Munchies just in case.